Come on in. My name is Bill Tobin, and this is your restaurant success tip of the day. I was having lunch in someone else's restaurant the other day, and I ordered a roasted veggie salad, partly because it sounded good and partly because I'm trying to lose a few pounds. When the server asked if I wanted to add avocado to the salad, I enthusiastically said, yes, of course, that sounds delicious. I'm glad, I'm glad you thought of it. Avocado, though it's high in calories, the carbs are rich with nutrients and it's really a, a, a healthy high calorie food. Now I'm sure many of the veterans listening to this are saying, you are just upsold. Uh, ups upselling in restaurants has had its ups and downs in my experience in, in our industry through the years. I first learned about upselling through a book called Service That Sells in the early 90s, uh, Service That Sells by Jim Sullivan and Phil Roberts. And, um, and through the different years, it's gotten a bad rap, um, mostly because uh, it's usually described as corporate franchise robotic attempt to take more money from guests. If you're upselling, people say, I just got upsold, and people think of it as just a, a restaurant trying to take money from you. But the truth is, many people don't consider that we are one of the few industries where people walk in our door and they have already made the decision to buy. Unlike a retail store where people walk in looking to shop, they, they're looking around, they might be checking out clothes or they might be looking at the shelves what they want to buy. When people walk into a restaurant, they've already chosen to spend their money with you. Now that doesn't mean that we should be taking advantage of anyone, but it does mean that if we, we don't have to be fantastic salespeople to try to get people to open their wallets to purchase our product. They've already decided to purchase. Our job is to make sure that they receive full value for the money that they are spending and that they have a fantastic experience in our restaurant. And it means that adding bacon to their burger or adding avocado to the salad, then just get them what they want. If done naturally and with the best intentions for the guests, then they'll not only pay you for the upsell, but thank you for it later on. So your task for today, Teach your staff that upselling for the benefit of the guests is good customer service. Now go make it happen. Do you have a comment or a tip for restaurant leaders? Text me at 808-201-0550 or find me at restaurantleadership365.com. This is Bill Tobin. Thanks for coming in. See you tomorrow.